morning, Saturday morning about 7 a.m. Normally, when we race Friday nights, I'm out cleaning tires by now, but with last night's rain out, I've got a little bit of free time before we get started with the day's activities. So I'm making this video, it's something I've been wanting to make for a little while, and I figured, well, it's a good time right now, let's do it. So, life's hard, and it can be hard for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. And uh, a lot of the stuff that I do is challenging. Running a business with two locations, and we're in staffing, and you know, you ask most business owners, what's your biggest challenge? They tell you people. So being the incredible genius I am, I started the business coming up on nine years ago. That's all about people. And it's, uh, it's definitely challenging, and challenging in New York State. But we get up every day, and we fight, and we uh, keep working hard at it. You know, being a dad, being any type of parent, it's got its challenges. And uh, I'm not going to say that one is harder than another, but having a little girl with autism definitely presents some different challenges at times. But also makes me better, and it lets me do things that maybe I wouldn't do, and it all ties together. You know, the employment agency, my business, we're all about helping people. And having a daughter with autism and my passion of racing I've gotten to the point where helping people is one of my driving forces. And if I can help people with autism and help families and help people find out where to get the help, that's what we do. So we've got our big autism race just on less than a month away, Friday night, September 6th, as long as we don't get rained out. And um, I guess this post is really about the sponsors and the people who've helped us get here. Because I should say this video, because it's not even a post, I'm just making a video. Anyway, um, there's no way that I do this without great sponsors. Uh, without the track coming on board and everybody's got their challenges and everybody's got other stuff in life that's happening so you know we this is our third year doing it and I, I'll thank my daughter first because you know Rachel's got autism and she she understands the importance of it as much as she can participate she tries to but she's my driving force, she's why I do this. And, you know, Lyle and Marcy at Albany Saratoga Speedway, they have a lot of their own challenges going on and they've got their health issues and so much more. But, you know, we're, there, we're in the third year with this and they're all in, they do everything they can to help this and help support it. And, you know, I know they would have other charities that are important to them as well, but, they do what they can for us with this. You know, this is the second year that Upstate Chevy Dealers has been involved and they are a big sponsor. There's no way that we make this happen without the Upstate Chevy Dealers. And as I've gotten to know a little bit more about them, I've had relationships with different dealers for a long time, but I've got to know more about the group and about their local marketing agency, doing stuff that makes an impact on society is important. Yes, they're supposed to sell and service cars, but they, they do so much more than that. And they truly do care. They care about us getting this message out. They care about us helping people who have autism, who families with autism and finding out where to go and helping us raise the funds. So I can't thank the Upstate Chevy dealers enough for what they do and how they do it. We've got Stone Motorsports and Online Performance Parts with Nick and Jamie. They've been part of this from year one as well. Yes, you know, he uh, sells race car parts and they fix race cars, they build race cars. That's their business, but they don't have to do this. You know, they sponsor a lot of different things they know it's important, they know the cause is important, and they go above and beyond to help us get the word out and do more with that, which is awesome. Uh, Richie Crane from Crane's Outdoor Power Equipment. 
I, I don't even know what to say about this guy. You know, not only do they sponsor the race, not only every year do they have incredible items that they donate for the auction, which helps us raise money for autism. But on the first year, he won the race. And right there in Victory Lane, right to the folks from the Autism Society and Bring on the Spectrum, and those are the charities that we're trying to raise money for, he donated the money right back to them. Talk about a class act. And, you know, I'm honored to have those guys be part of the event yet. Once again, third year in, and they're part of it at a high level. Uh, Phil DeFiglio from Michael's Automotive and uh, Trailer Sales. They, uh, he was part of it every single year as well. And he'll, he's a guy who'll do whatever we need to do to help us make this event happen. He also understands the cause. And I, I think that's my big message here. People aren't doing this for me mentioning their name. They're not doing this for the promotion and for the publicity. They're doing it because it's an important cause. And I want to mention their name. I want to tell people about them. I want to tell people to do business with them because they care about, they care about society. They care about helping people. And it's a cause that's near and dear to me. So I'm going above and beyond to try and help them drive business and do anything else. So yeah, if you need any type of power equipment, you, you've got to check out Crane's Power Outdoor Equipment. And if you know, you're looking for used car or service or trailers, you've got to check out Phil DeFiglio and Michael's Trailer Sales up in Boston Spa. You know, we've had some sponsors who've come back again as well, like Jay's Landscaping with Jason Casey and Casey Racing. You know, they've been involved every single year as well. Um, Jay Fitzgerald with Classic Muscle Parts. You know, in some fashion or another, he's been involved as well. He's helped out on year one with a sponsorship as well as really heading the cause up with our lap sponsors. He's got a sponsorship this year for us and some lap sponsors. So, you know, can't thank Jay enough for what he's doing and how he's helping. And uh, new this year, we've got Kamengay Construction with Devin Kamengay. For those of you who might know Devin, he's just a good guy. Um, he's got his own small construction company. They do great work. But again, he he's not about doing this for the business. I'm pretty sure he's booked out for a year, but he knows it's an important cause and he, he knows why we're doing it and he gets behind the cause. So thanks to Devin. We've got um, my buddy, Greg Goldstein, GT Toys Motorsports and Marine. It's his second year doing it. Uh, I hadn't even pitched him the first year. And you know, I, I don't even know what to say about Greg. He gets behind this completely. He understands the cause. He understood, you know, I've known him for 20 something years. So he knows me, he knows my wife and my daughter. He understands how important this is. And I don't think he would ever not do this because of what it means and the message that we're putting out to society and how we're helping so many people. You know, new this year, we've got Andy's Speed Shop. So they haven't been in the past and they're, they're with us this year. And, you know, they're, they're our official tire sponsor. So we're telling all the drivers and you need tires, you've got to go to Andy's. And again, it's, uh, it, they understand the cause and, and they're behind it. And, you know, along with Andy's Speed Shop came in two medals. And they're like, you know what? It's a good cause. We want to be in also. And um, thank you guys. It, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm sitting here. I'm walking. It's early Saturday morning. I'm hoping I'm not missing anybody. Well, you know, I, I do this because of my daughter. I do this because when we started racing and I had the autism awareness car, the people who would come out and say, hey, that's awesome that you're running an autism awareness car. And I think maybe I've got a family member who has autism 
or we know somebody with autism, but they need help and they don't know where to go. I've heard a lot of that and I've seen a lot of it and it's, it sucks and it's hard. And I know myself and my wife, we we're constantly fighting. We fight with the school districts. We fight with different folks. It's, it's hard to get what my daughter needs. And sometimes it's hard for us to give her what she needs. Well, can't stop. Can't just walk away and you've got to keep fighting. And I learned from my daughter, she can't stop either. Sometimes she's got a sensory overload and challenges that we can't even begin to imagine but she can't stop. She's got to try and push her way through it. Does she always succeed? Nope. Does she succeed more often than not? Absolutely. Is it way harder for her than I can begin to imagine? Yeah. And I would imagine it's like that for a lot of people. So if you're watching this, appreciate you. If you're tied to the race somehow, appreciate you. If you just look at somebody with a little bit more understanding and a little more acceptance and know they or a family member might be facing a challenge you don't know about i appreciate you if you want to make a difference for this cause we started a website racers for number four autism.com you can go there you can make a donation you can learn a little bit about it you can reach out to one of the foundations that we sponsor well that's why we do this and I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to watch this and listen. Having a daughter with autism has by far made me a better person and a better human. And, um, you know, it's funny. Um, autism is a spectrum disorder, so it's ASD. And my daughter has ASD, autism spectrum disorder. And when I was a kid growing up, my dad always said he was Superman. And he was, always did that. You know, he's passed quite some years now. And on his grave, we actually have the Superman, on his tombstone, we actually have the Superman insignia. So Superman and that super power thing has always kind of been a special place for me. And in a Father's Day card and a birthday card and a couple of other cards my daughter has gotten for me with my wife's help. It has had Superman, Super Dad, etc. So not too long ago somebody had said I'm autism Super Dad. And I was like, yeah, whatever. But then I realized autism Super Dad, ASD. My daughter, ASD. I think it's pretty cool. I don't think I'm super dad. I don't think I'm anything really special, but I try hard and I'm going to keep going and doing everything I can do to support my daughter and support everybody with autism and those families. Again, if you can help us and make a difference, racers for number four autism.com and appreciate you listening. Have a great day.